Good morning, buenos dias. Yeah, not so happy that I didn't get up on time, but I'm so excited I'm here. But I'm excited to start the Lulu Show this Saturday, June 22nd, 2013, a year older. Yes, yesterday was my birthday. And I'll tell you, I think it's important for people to celebrate their birthdays and make a collection or recollection of what happened that year, you know, kind of like what success, what agonies, what obstacles you face, because it makes you grow. And I think when you ignore birthdays, you don't get that experience to see and evaluate or take an inventory of what needs to happen in the future or in your present to make your life even happier. It's really all about being happy. And some people find happiness in certain things. Maybe it's money, maybe it's career success. I find happiness in building a strong hold of beautiful people around me. And I must say, I was very touched yesterday and I was very happy. I mean, since 12 midnight, of course, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Facebook uh, addict. <laughs> so I'll let everybody know it's my birthday. It's okay, that's all right. <laughs> if you're in my Facebook, you understand me. You know I post everything. But you know, since that first second, I gotta say that everybody's showing their love and their support, it means a lot. It's a lot to me, not only uh, because it's my birthday, but because I know that I've put my two cents into someone's life to make it better or worse. Usually it's for better, trust me, I tried it for success. And when they share that love back, you know that you're doing something good and I'm just so happy. I mean, so much to talk about, so much to do. 
And as you heard, we started off the Lulu show with a beautiful song. I love the message, only the strong survive. And that is true, only the strong survive, whether it be strong at heart, strong physically. But above all, if you're strong uh, in a holistic manner, in a holistic way, meaning your heart, your spirit, your physical, and your community, you really, really can reach happiness. And this morning, as we heard right there, that was 40 watt hype. I fell in love with 40 watt hype back uh, about 12 or almost 13 years ago when I walked into my job that is Radio Bilingue. I'm the producer there at the National Latino Public Radio Network. And when I walked in there as a you know scared person, community member, wanted to be a DJ or a radio host or just help at this beautiful concept of what Radio Bilingue is, uh, some of the first CDs that I stumbled upon was. 40 watt hype. It had a monkey on it and it said 40 watt and I thought it was something like radio production because you know radio watts and all that. I don't know. I'm kind of dark. But then I heard it. I was like, oh, this is cool. It's got a little funk. It's got a little beat. It's got a little passion. And I was like, I really like them. And I used them for some drops. And uh, then my um, late coworker, Mr. Mark Anthony Sanchez, the good old uh, and the only bad boy himself, talk to me, oh, yeah, it's a kid from town, he's pretty good, you know, they're, they're pretty good, they got good music, they got a lot of heart, I remember he told me that, and this is Mark Anthony, uh, you know, if you have ever heard the oldies um, at night at Radio Bilingue, or maybe you didn't know it was Radio Bilingue, but you know the oldest show uh, with the, the bad boy sounds, well, you know it was Mark Anthony, and many of us, as we were teenagers, <laughs> fell in love with him, and the whole concept of what the oldies program brought. And big shout out to Radio Bilingue, uh, my employer, and my passion because it really is just a community project done by community, and I really adore it. So I stumbled upon 40 Watt Hype, then kept on um, doing uh, shows. I got to do a musical show called Carnival, and there I got to feature music with the African diaspora influence rhythms. And what I did there is like, well, you know, the Lulu show is always going to be about my Latino experience since we like to make those categories, but it really is enriching, you know? Maybe it would have been my Russian experience, but it, it's not, it's my Latino experience. <laughs> Could be my Russian, I don't like that language. It's too hard to talk. Maybe my French experience, maybe Lulu, <laughs> I don't know. So, Fort Watt Hype came into my life, and ever since they've been producing beautiful music, and I really, really love that I'm able to have a position in my career to highlight people and artists and passionate community members to lead us. And now with the Lulu show, woohoo, I get to do what I want. Well, I get to share everything that I think is interesting and positive in our lives. With us now, with no Latino loop today, no Chad Glasso, because it's my birthday. And it's birthday mode, and we just want to celebrate everything. No chanclazo. You guys know what the chanclazo is? Yeah, I, I didn't even keep up this week. I was busy having a great time in my community with my birthday. I want to welcome from 40 Watt Hype, Mr. Aaron Wall, singer and folguero and team boss and percussion. Go with that. Hey, so doing? happy Let's you're see. here. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. As you can tell, I admire you a lot. Oh, thank you. I admire you too. <laughs> <laughs> So last night we were having a blast. Oh yeah. You're a true musician. I really loved your your set on percussions there on Los Timbas. You know, Tito was like, ¿Qué está pasando ah. abajo? Tito Puente <laughs> like, someone's down there making noise with my timbales. Forty what I tell me how that was born in. Um, I mean, I we all can see your, their bio and on mm -hmm. Facebook and on their website, but really, yeah. what was that heartfelt note or song that said, you know, when I when I gotta bring my message forward. Well, I mean, we, what we really wanted to do is just we wanted to make music that represented the valley. So it's got to be, it's got to have heart, it's got to have soul, and it's got to have something that's uh, has got to have rhythm. And you know, we love hip hop, we love salsa music, we love cumbia, and we love R and B, and we loved all those things. So we thought, you know what, those to us that represents the valley to us because it's so diverse. There's so many different people here, and then we all wanted to use live musicians to, you know, to highlight we have talent here. You know, we have a lot of talent, and yes. you know, everyone in the band is, is from the area. So we all came together and, you know, put it all in a package. <laughs> and don't get confused with Guerito y Ojos Verdes, okay? Because <laughs> this dude knows Spanish, ¿verdad que sí? Uh, yeah, ¿cómo es? ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo? ¿Qué dices? Tacos, frijoles. Pásame, <laughs> <laughs> don't make me look bad. Come on, I can do that by myself. <laughs> now, Aaron Wall, 41 Hype, you have 
Sean Alderete on mm -hmm. drums. Mm -hmm. How did that come? Mm -hmm. That relationship come through? Um, he's he's been one of my favorite drummers since I was since I started learning how to play. And I I started. I know he did twelve, stuff. but he's not. You're yeah, yeah. <laughs> And I look at him, and you know, he was uh, he, he played jazz and a bunch of other cool stuff. And then, eventually, we were in a position where we could cross paths, and he could actually be a part of the band. So it's you know, made my day that you can have actually have someone that's you know your favorite drummer actually in your own band. You know, usually it's right. like, man, if I can get that that guy, you know. But then when he's actually in your band, you know, wow, it's pretty special. Sean, big shout out. I know he's asleep oh, yeah. right now, but we'll yeah. put it on YouTube. <laughs> so you can watch it later. Now, Jared Dyer, uh -huh, I'm saying that yeah, right? Mm -hmm. Jared Dyer on percussion is also following you and also maybe leading you. Uh, what mm -hmm. do you, how did that relationship come JD? about? JD, oh man, JD. We, we've spent He's a lot like, of time. You said my real name. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've, uh, we go on the road. He's my, he's my bunk buddy. Because when we go on the road, we try to cram as many people into one small hotel room. Uh -huh. So, you know, You're a bunk we're, buddy. we're bunk buddies. So we're, we're close. <laughs> But I've known him for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I can't help myself sometimes. Now, um, Pat Olvera on mm. bass. Oh, yeah. You know, I always used to say bass. You know, because I don't know how to But it's right. bass. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, Pat, he's a monster. He's yeah, just, a, he's animalistic. He's a, he's a, plays a wide spectrum. He's from Latin to funk to R&B to slow, you know, smooth jazz. And he's, uh, he travels all over. He plays with a ton of different people. And he's a, uh, Man, asking yeah, I'm a bass time. girl. I mean, like I follow the bass players. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're always so handsome. Oh, he is. All he's, the he's bass good players. I don't mean. <laughs> but um, he, he does have a energy he brings. You oh, know, yeah. I mean, bass. Sometimes we don't recognize, but like I said, when I listen to music with the bass is there, mm -hmm. I'm there all the way. Yeah, yeah. He does a good job. Yeah. So um, now, tell me about your guitarist, Mr. J. Rosette. Yeah, J. J. Rosette. He's he's a. Uh, He's played with Malo, you know, in the past. That's where I kind of initially crossed paths with him. He, he was playing in that band for a long time, so he has a lot of experience playing with them. And he's just a great guitar player. He lays it down. He's got really good solos. Uh, he's got good ideas. His voice sings. His knowledge. And uh, yeah. Big shout out to Jay. Absolutely. And your keys, Mr. Javon Davis. Oh yeah, Javon. He takes. And that's Javon. Oh, they hear Javon. Yeah. Everyone has their thing that they bring, and he 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 takes it to church. That's his his like. You know his flavor that he grew up in playing and stuff, so he brings that element yeah. to the band. Yeah. He's wicked on those keys. Oh, and he's uh, got Maddie wicked sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> when he gets all inspired. With, I mean, like the energy always builds up in your shows. Mm -hmm. I've noticed that. Um, and when I finally got to see you guys live, which was at Arte Americas, uh -huh. at the plaza right behind us, as you can see in our backdrop. Um, I remember the energy was just like I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, can I what he thought? Well, I knew Forty One Right music, but I didn't know who it was. Yeah, <laughs> right? Yeah. It was What's that guy doing up there? What's he gonna sing? I go, what? That's Eric. I just blew me away. You know, unfortunately, we still have prejudgments in our heads. <laughs> you know, like one of my DJs at Radio Bilingue, Jean Hayes, when I finally met her, I was like, wait, you're not black? Because she's so smooth and uh, she's got this uh, sultry voice and the, the way she presents Latin jazz and everything. I was like, wait, I'm, I'm all messed up in my head. You know what? That's what voices do. Mm -hmm. Now, tell me um, how. Um, Mr. Trombone Man, Robert, how say that? Ruffner? Ruffner, yeah. Ruffner. Yeah, right. Ruffner. Ruffner. yeah, he is, uh, he played it, he plays trombone with Let's Go Bowling. He's been playing with them for a long time. He plays also in Tumba with me, with, in another group, another Latin group. So he just brings, uh, he's really, he plays like real ballsy, you know, yeah. and, he just, and I like that, that power that he brings. Yeah. So, yeah. Trombone is uh, one of my second instruments that I would, you know, pay attention to. Yeah. And of course, with the salsa background, and yeah. you hear people like Mr. Um, Willie Colon yep. and so forth, yep. you know, you're like Jimmy Bosch and uh, you know, when yeah. you're a freshman, like, what, what, that's yep. not them up there, who's that guy? <laughs> Pretty awesome. Yeah. So 40 watt hype. Why 40 watt hype? Que es eso? Well, do you want me to tell the real version or the version yes, I tell people? give it to the Lulu <laughs> exclusion. Come <laughs> the exclusive here on the Lulu show. Well, I, I went to Edison High School and Edison, you know, the light bulb. So what we want to do is take that because a lot of the people in the band originally are from from Edison's mm -hmm. on the west side, and so that was part of our development. So we took 40 watt because of the light bulb. And we added some hype to it because we want to bring energy, like you said. Oh, anything we want to do is want to be. It wants to Electrify. bring illumination, electric, you know, electricity, illumination. You know, we want to bring some energy, and that's that's what we're all about. But what I really tell people, you know, just I go, you know what? Uh, at the highest point of adrenaline, if you were to measure your electricity in your body. 40 watts. Boy, that sounds good. That, that sounds better. Huh? My hair's going to get curly now. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds better, though, huh? I like that. I was very passionate. <laughs> well, you are a, sing, a, a singer songwriter, a composer there, and a father. So, 40 watt hype, 
how long ago it uh, happened and how it happened? I mean, did you, you um, just happened to put oh, see that guy, he's dead at drums. And yeah, how did it, it was actually the, the first gig we played was at a, at a party, at a, at a party in, in someone's backyard. You were like 10? Yeah, I, <laughs> I think my voice was kind of, I was like, yeah, I want to rock the party. <laughs> and my voice hadn't changed yet. But uh, it was, because um, I'm a big fan of the Beastie Boys, you know, and one of my favorite albums oh, was yes. Check Your Head. And I love the way they combine hip hop and live music. And I, I fell in love with that. And I thought, well, we used to make rap records, you know, and, and on a on a four track. And, yes, and we're talking about like mixtapes. Now nah, there's still yeah. technology with that yeah. mouse. You know? <laughs> no, no, this was this like was cutting click. tape and everything. You know, I didn't do it right. Stop, rewind, yeah, rewind, stop, record again. Yeah, so we would do that. We'd make rap tapes and, you know, mess around. And then someone's like, hey, man, why don't you play at our party? And I go, well, I'm not going to show up with the tape deck and, like, play it <laughs> and start rapping. I'd be, I'd be lame. Would have been cute. Yeah, so then my brother played bass. My other brother played drums. I had a way to play guitar. So we go, you know what, let's let's learn the music. And then we started playing. And then people were like, oh, this is cool. You know, and it just, it wasn't a, a plan, like, I'm going to make a band. It just kind of started at that party. And then people liked it. And then we just kind of went with it. And then we added horns and we added other stuff to it. Yeah. Well, when you got the ear and you have, like we say in Spanish, el angel, you know, got that angel following you and the muse is there. He's like, this is what you're supposed to do. And if, if you really meditate enough and love yourself enough, you're able to hear those messages of what your calling is. You know, because mm. we're always like, what's my purpose? Mm. Where am I? Well, quiet down, find it, you know, or hype it up, you know, yeah. put some energy into yeah. it, like, let's try it, or give it all, fake, fake it till you make it, no, just kidding. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> so, that first gig, uh, how did it feel to be on stage, or, you know, to take part of being in the center of everybody judging you? Yeah, you know, I don't, for some reason, uh, I've been able to kind of block that out um, in, my, <laughs> in my life, like, I, I hardly ever get, uh, people always ask me if I get nervous or forget lyrics, that's one place in my life where I don't, I don't get nervous for some, you know, for some reason. That's home. It just, uh, you know, the pressure and stuff like that. It, everything moves slower to me, than, rather than faster. Some people when they get in a situation, you know. But there's other things in my life that make me nervous and things get crazy. <laughs> but for some reason, when I'm when I'm playing or when, um, I don't know, some things just slow down. It just happens. But yeah, it was great. I remember it was everyone had a good time, and it's just that the energy that you that you send out. You you work on something, you prepare it, you send it out, and you don't know what's gonna happen, and then it comes back, and you go, oh. Yeah. That's wow, good. that's that's truly, and it's been good for now. What, twenty? How many years? No, now? not tw is it twenty? No, I think like. I don't uh, do math. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Our first He's album. Like, our, first, our, first, our first. <laughs> no, our first album came out in two thousand. So yeah, so we have oh, yeah, uh, six albums. <laughs> yeah. uh, most recent, uh, we have uh, Push, mm -hmm. and that CD in particular, you know yeah. I love because I play it a lot. <laughs> yeah. But every song has such great messages, and we heard uh, only the strong survive, which comes out on that CD mm -hmm. push. Tell me about push and that uh, particular picking the music and what did you want to point, at, uh, you know, point out about the Central Valley? Because you know he's on Central Valley talk because he cares about the Central That's right. Valley. That's <laughs> right. I love the Central Valley. For push, um, the reason well we had a, a hard time naming it because. That, that's why we ended up just calling it push because we were what we were trying to do is just whatever we did before or whatever you do in your life the message was push go one step further go dig a little bit deeper so I thought it was because push play <laughs> yeah exactly yeah, push play exactly because on the top front of the record it's a it's a mixing board, mixing board you know yeah. and the fader's going up so it's like push the fader turn up the volume you know let's go it's very good mm -hmm. cover by the way yeah it is exactly. yeah. So oh. in the songs there, um, Mas y Mas is another one of your mm -hmm. tracks, Only a Strong Survive, Listen to the Music. Am mm -hmm. I right or am I yeah, in yeah, the wrong yeah. tracks? Oh, you're right, yeah. I'm you going off memory no, here. You got and it. many people know my memory is not that great. <laughs> um, and there's some ballad style, you know, love music there. And mm -hmm. then there's this hype, get energy workout kind of song. And yeah. then there's um, that consciousness, you know, of where mm -hmm. you're at and who you are. And especially where you're at and how it influences you. Tell me about you know why you feel so um how do you say committed to representing the central valley in california you know many of us ah there's nothing to do here it's boring it's ugly it's terrible it's fresh no mm -hmm. you know tell me why it's so important central valley i don't know to me we've traveled a lot and and it always would bum me out or make me upset when, when you go somewhere and people would downplay where you're from i'm i'm proud to be from fresno I, I you know i think we have a lot of talent i think we could put up what we have against anybody any other city so especially in music so I wanted to make sure that we we reflect that and that everything that we do we uh, we have a wide range. Like you said, some songs are slow, sometimes they're ballads, sometimes they're in Spanish, sometimes they're in English, and we want to just put our best foot forward to say, hey, we can have a band that's original from the valley that can go out 
and uh, make some noise. And we always want to say, whenever we go somewhere, that's where we say where we're from. So a lot of people have said, you know what, just when you go somewhere, just tell me from a uh, LA area. People think we're <laughs> from somewhere California. else. California. Yeah, they're like, are you from Frisco? We're like, no. You from LA? No. They yeah, wish. No. They wish. He's ours. <laughs> he is from the Central Valley. We're so happy. And all your musicians are from the Central Valley also. Yeah. And they bring that, you know, love of country and love of where they live and community and so important. And setting roots in the community is very important for all of us because then, you know, we have people as himself to be a great role model for our young men and that we really need those role models for our community. Now, 41 High Push, and you have uh, something after Push. Tell mm -hmm. me about that one. Yeah, we had we came up with a remix album. It's called the Inner Ear Remix because uh, we were so overwhelmed with the support that we've had from, from everybody. And we thought, you know, let's make a remix CD and just give it away. Right, you know, because we have. Oh, give it away album. free. Did yeah, he free. say free? Yeah. <laughs> Gratis. <laughs> How do we get that? Uh, you can go to 40 watthypecom and you can download it for free. And it's oh. called Pushed Inner Ear Remixes. So it's so. 40, the number. Mm -hmm. Don't spell it out. Yeah. 40 and then what with two T's. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it happens. Yeah, you know? yeah. Texting has messed up our spelling. <laughs> 40 watt hype, hype with a Y. <laughs> Should I just spell it out? <laughs> no, I better not. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying. I'm clarifying. I like to be clear. Now, um, 40 watt hype. Not only plays awesome venues here in Fresno, because we have awesome venues mm -hmm. in Fresno, and oh, they've yeah. been getting better lately. Yeah. The last 10 years, yeah. I mean, the last five years, we could say, yeah. you know, we have Fulton 55, mm -hmm. we have Arte Americas. Now we're getting back out there. That was that one called the, the by Tuolumne and Fulton by the the Warner. Frank's place. You know, Frank's place. Yeah. Um, we have up north, but we're trying to stay downtown. It feels really yeah. good. Yeah. Now you were rec recently a uh, national. Latino TV. I'm not going to mm -hmm. say the channel because you guys all know who that is. <laughs> How was that experience? And what did it mean to 41 Hive to get to, and, and it was like a battle of the bands also too, right? Yeah, similar to like a battle of the bands. Well, Cyber we, battle of so, the yeah. bands. I voted. it. Yeah, I thank, you. It. <laughs> thank you. We needed it. Yeah, what it was is uh, it was a, it was a kind of, a, yeah, it was like a, a band search, like a national band search. So we were one of two bands that went to Miami to perform on a national television show. Yeah. Spanish. So how was, I know it's nothing like the Lulu <laughs> no, show, <it's> <laughs> but how was that experience, you know, for the band to go out there and really say, you know what, Fresno is in the Central Valley, and yeah. we are here in Los Miami's. So yeah, it was, that, that, that was a really proud moment for us, you know, to, to go on, on to it's international TV, actually, and say, hey, this is where we're from, this is our music, and it's from here, everyone, it's like uh, seeds planted in the valley being brought over there, because all of our training, all of our, all of our influences that go, go into making the music are from here. And they liked the music, so we went over there, played it, and they, you know, they dug what, it. What song did you feature? Masimas. Masimas, of yeah, course. Yeah. Of course, they we're going to be listening to that before we end um, uh, the uh, the segment with Aaron Wall. So tell me, Aaron Wall, other than being a musician, we see you're very confident at that. Tell me about your family. I know you come from a strong family, and mm -hmm. uh, as you mentioned, you have brothers. I don't, know, I don't even know if you have sisters. But yeah, I do. Have one, one, your great one, mom, one your dad. Right. Tell me about yeah. that. How's that? Well, how do they feel about you being a musician? They supported us. They, I, everyone in my family played music. That was like our first thing. My grandma played piano. She sang. My dad uh, plays. My sister. All of us play. So that was one of the first things. So you got good yeah. uh, fundamentals. Yeah, they, music. you know, it's like you have to play piano. You, maybe they start us in second grade. You know, for maybe a year, two years, you had to get the timer out, sit on the piano, don't move until that timer goes. You know, tick, 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 and you're sitting there, da, 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 you know, you're doing your thing. And at the time, you're like, oh, I want to go play baseball, I want to go outside, I want to play <laughs> wiffle ball. But, you know, as years go by, we start playing piano, then my other brother goes to bass, my other brother goes to drums, my other brother plays sax, my sister plays, she plays, she sings. You know, so then we start going, you know how to play bass, you know how to play drums, let's start playing. And so we played play in a rock band together, so then we started playing little. together. And so it was never really, um, some of my friends were, they said, oh, my mom doesn't want me to play. Because my first gig was, I was like uh, 12 or 13. Yeah. I was, th and we played in a bar. And, <laughs> and I, now that I think about it, I was like, man, they, they, they didn't, I never remember having to talk like, look, you can, you know, can I go play? It was just, I have a gig. I'm going to go play this, you oh. know. Yeah, was, all right. Oh, so I sold like oh. tickets to all my friends that were students <laughs> and like junior high, you know. We played the, the, days, eh? the Cadillac Club. The, oh, that, that was my first the gig. Cadillac? Yeah, the Cadillac wow. Club. And we, and we played out there, and they were supportive. And then it just went from there. And I think if people see that you work hard at something, that's not just because a lot of musicians, to be honest with you, or some some people, not all of them, 
they just they have alternative motives for playing music you know it's just something cool to do something to hang out to do right right uh, you and, take, and you know, you know the vision you gotta set the vision right because if you don't set the vision right you're gonna set up yourself for failure and we don't want you to fail we want you to be you know successful at all points and you know because any little failure could actually bring us down so much or set us back so far and you know when you do it the corazón you know you find your vision even if it is you know like me a lulu show oh, my own tv show so i could be seen on the lulu that's show right, that's right <laughs> but of course my main vision is to be able to touch people the same way they touch my life for 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 success now and is also a dad and she has a beautiful beautiful wife i love your wife she's so yeah, beautiful she's, she's cool. so she's so um I don't know. She has a great energy. Tell she me does. about that. He even wrote a song for her. Yeah, yeah. 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 She was like, yeah. whatever. <laughs> yeah, because uh, it was Valentine's Day. And uh, if you don't have money, if you're a musician, there's always the, you can just write a song. You're it's priceless. <laughs> <laughs> How come I never find those? Get with me on that. <laughs> But yeah, we've been together for since day one, man. We've been together a long, long time. She's just like how my family's been where, uh, you know, again, a lot of my other musicians, friends, they got girlfriends and wives are like, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? And blah. You know, they think it's cool at first, but then when they realize how much time it takes and how much dedication it takes, then sometimes they don't. But Esther, man, she's uh, she gets it, you know, because she sees that it's part of who I am. And, well, you know, you when know. you love someone and and you see that it's their true happiness, you know, you only want to reinforce their happiness right. because yeah. you love them. And Esther definitely shows that. Yeah. And yeah. your two little girls. Yeah, my girls. Yes, Selena. Selena. Yeah, in October. Too much romantic. <laughs> <laughs> too many songs. Matthew, Matthew. <laughs> You're taking that song too literal, young man. <laughs> it's okay. They're all going to sing and be artists and yeah. beautiful. I, like I got to get the new band. The new band. Go ahead. I know. I have the new generation. <laughs> so, Aaron, what is your message to our community and to our young kids and maybe even people who are just stuck in life? What mm -hmm. would be your message for them here on the Lulu show? I would say, um, <clears throat> kind of like the message of La Sombra or, or Push is take whatever you think does um is holding you back or holding you down and really that's what is making you special that's what's making you stronger than than everybody else because everyone in this in this valley we a lot of people use it as something to kind of hold them back or they kind of might use it as an excuse like well if i only did this but really this place can make you really strong and and um you use all the things around you and and couple it with what you do well and just push it work it hard make a plan be creative and there's there's so much agriculture here use that as as, as if it was arts yeah. Grow it, fertilize it, you know, don't use pesticides, but use Go this clean water. Yeah. Go organic. Go organic. <laughs> organic is always the best way. Organic in your spirit, your heart, and your body, and well, yeah, absolutely. have this beautiful project like 41 Hive. So excited. Like I said, I'm so happy because this is my birthday present yeah. to have Aaron Wall, my favorite musician, and band, and music, and message. So very excited. Thank you. Thank you. So we're going to go to a musical break. We're going to close with Mas y Mas, which I love the video because it's a community oriented video. You might find yourself in there. I don't know. You yeah. should look. But it was a good production. I it love was, it. Was Who good. produced that, that uh, video? Puni Desi. Puni Desi. Mm -hmm. Wow, mm -hmm. gotta He's get them on. I like it. Yeah. I like yeah, it. It's it was really nice. Very good. So let's go with that. Stay here. This is the Lulu Show on CentralValleyTalk.com. And remember, you could also look me up through the YouTube channel. Uh, Lulu Show is the name of the the channel there, or you could look it up through my email, which is the Lulu Show One at Gmail.com. Here we go with Mas y Mas. <laughs> Mas, 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 mas,
Siempre cada día tiene su propio camino Siempre cada día tiene su propio destino Conocimiento y madurez de los lejitos Con la energía y voz de los jovencitos Corazón de los pobres con el dinero de los ricos Yo quiero todo, grande chico, melodía y el rico Placeres sin dolores, dinero sin labores Paz, we want it all right We want it all right We want all the freedom but we don't want to fight We want all the pleasure but we don't want the pain We want the revolution but we don't want the blood stain We want a destination but we don't want the fight We want all the freedom but we don't want the fight We want all the pleasure but we don't want the pain We want the revolution but we don't want the blood stain Maxi, 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 maxi You can buy a home in this foreclosure market for as little as $500 a month. If you want your kids to go to McLean High School, Scandinavian Middle School, or Erickson, take a look at this beautiful home, three bedroom, two bath. Uh, there's a beautiful uh, rock wall to put a, a wood burning stove. Uh, there's also a very open floor plan with the fire, another fireplace. The kitchen, you've got to see the kitchen, it has a beautiful snack bar for your kids to sit and do their homework while you're preparing the dinner under $500 a month. Call us and see if you're qualified. Call Mike Briggs at Mike Briggs Properties at 486-6758 or go to MikeBriggsProperties.com. You can purchase this nearly new home near Kings Canyon and Fowler Avenues for as little as $800 a month. At 1,700 square feet, it has four bedrooms and two baths and a three-car garage. It is located near Sunnyside Shopping Centers and has great access to Freeway 180. This home is located in the Clovis Unified School District. For more information on any of our properties, check out MikeBriggsProperties.com or call Mike Briggs Properties at 486-6758. Hi, I'm Greg Rude, a local real estate agent working with London Properties. You might be thinking about buying or selling a property right now, or maybe you just have a question about real estate. I'd love to help you with that. Give me a call at 352-7716, and I can answer any questions that you might have. Maybe you've got a property that's upside down. Maybe you're interested in buying a bank foreclosure and have a question about that. Or maybe you just like someone to show you some houses that you're interested in or have a question about a particular property. Once again, give me a call. My name's Greg, 352-7716, and I'd love to help you. Thanks. You're watching CentralValleyTalk.com. CentralValleyTalk.com.
That's right. You are watching CentralValleyTalk.com, and this is The Lulu Show, My Latino Experience. My name is Lourdes Oliva, and your host and producer for the show since May 4th, and I'm so excited. Wow, we're already in June 22nd, and I think this is week eight or something. I don't remember. But I'm very excited that you're supporting it and that you feel that this is worthwhile. And, you know, it is an hour of your time that I'm requesting, whether you watch it live or uh, through our YouTube channel. But I'm very excited to see the comments and the feedback and that it's actually um, contributing to my community, which that is my main goal, to be able to give back to this beautiful community that has given me so much, especially beautiful friends. As I mentioned earlier in the uh, show, uh, last night I was at the Arte Americas Noches in La Plaza, Nights in the Plaza, and I gotta tell you, it's been 17 years that on June 21st, it's not 110 or 115, like melting. I could never wear makeup really on my birthday because it was so hot. I remember uh, for my 30, for 35th birthday party, I decided to have a party in my backyard, roasted a pig, and you know, I had the whole thing. It was 115, and I'm not a drinker. I don't support alcohol. I really don't care for it because I'm a natural hype. But I don't really like what alcohol does to any of our community. But it, anyways, that's just my two bits on that. But I remember that day, I was like, what was I thinking? It was so hot. I only had one big old tree. It was nice. But by the time it was birthday party time, and then plus it's the longest day of the year, I was melting. I was bleeding from my nose. <laughs> And I got somebody, I, I had put my drink down and I picked up the wrong red cup. You know, don't use red cups. That comes up this dumb. I didn't know that red cups meant for alcohol. Anyway, so I grabbed it and drank it. Yeah, let's just say by birthday uh, present time, I was like, man, I love you. You know, I wish my mom was here. <laughs> it was crazy. So don't drink. <laughs> if you can't take it. Sounds like fun to me. I know, serious. And also yesterday at Arte Americas, we had Rumba 32, and our previous guest, Mr. Aaron Wall, was there on the timbales. It was awesome. But I got a, such a beautiful present, one that I did not expect. It really made me tear up. And I was like, you know, like in the back, way in the back, I had a cramp because I had been there so much. And this started saying happy birthday. I mean, the whole community saying happy birthday to you. That is priceless, you know, and thank you very much. I'm, I'm in debt with my community because of all the love they offered me yesterday. It was a beautiful night, full moon, and it was like 88 or something. It was so beautiful. I couldn't believe it. So speaking about Arte Americas, you know, I have uh, met a young man there who is not only working there to make our community representative through the arts, but also doing it with an educated eye in the arts. And he has come up with an awesome concept. You know, in Spanish, we use this one little crutch word for everything, kind of like in English, I use the F one. Well, we use the P one. What's the P one? Pinche. And he, this young man thought it was a good idea to use pinche for the representation of arts in the Central Valley for Latinos. We have with us pinche Tony. No, I'm just kidding. I like that. Tony Carranza. Like that. <laughs> Tony, how are you? Welcome you to the Lulu Show. Thank you. And he, he's here even after working, putting up chairs and all that. You work a lot yeah. out there, many times. Yeah, we do it all when we're there, you know, community, yeah. community center. Everybody does it all. Many yes. Hands. Yeah. So tell me about pinche. Uh, you know what, pinche is um, a new thing that we, uh, and, and it's not just me. We got a, a group of, of folks that are putting it together. Um, you know, pinche, we're trying to, um, basically, it's kind of the intersection between art music and you know community change you know we're trying to you know some of us who are in the community doing art some some are doing this some are doing that and i and, and you know we thought it was a good idea to kind of put all that together into one one show one venue um and do a do a, a, a um kind of a monthly thing like a um, monthly outlet yeah. of expression a monthly party say. you yeah. know monthly you know and we're trying to put in a lot of things together for it you know and, and it kind of change the format to it to it too you know we'd have you know, we have a resident DJ. We have a a, a band, from a local band, uh, a band who's touring from LA or, or touring from San Francisco. Like all the things, uh, you know, all the music that that, that we think is positive, uh, all the artists that are doing positive work in the community. We wanted to bring that all together into like one 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 night a month. You know, mm -hmm. um, and since you know. Uh, so here your, one, your one night a month is going to be your pinche party. Our pinche party. That, that's it. Kind of <laughs> developed like into party. it. Yeah, you know, uh, it kind of developed into that. You know, you know, uh, in Fresno we do a uh, uh, art hop, which is you know Thursday of every first Thursday of every month. And um, we have uh, jazz hop. 
jazz hop, you know. So this is a pinche hop, man. Yeah. Well, you know, First Friday is such a, uh, I, I, I've always thought hop, it was a better like day. Like. <laughs> you know, yeah. Everybody else does First Friday, and we thought we steal that for ourselves and, and use it, um, you know, at, Art Hop as a promotion, and then also uh, First Friday as just the day that you can go out and really have a good time. And you know what? Uh, doing the art hop scene at, or the jazz hop scene in here in Fresno, like I said, we are so fortunate to have so much talent. Mm -hmm. I think we are so fortunate to, like Aaron, you know, mentioned, we are here in the center of agricultural uh, world, uh, central of the world, and mm -hmm. it really is a way to take that into culture of beautiful people. We have such culture. I mean, I, that's why I do the show, the Lulu Experience. You guys see the little video clips. Uh, as a matter of fact, this week I, I got to experience a new kind of music. Well, it's not new music to me, but I had never seen it like, or gone or say, oh, I'm going to go to this concert live because of this kind of artist, you know, but I got to uh, Thursday, I went out to Fulton 55, which is one of the most recent venues that I really, really like. And Fulton 55, you want to be a sponsor? Call me. No. <laughs> but um, they, I went because I, I happened to check out my Facebook. I love Facebook because of the fact I'm always plugged into what events are happening and went to, I wanted to see before Pearl's live because this young man wow and this lady this young lady on the violin is so passionate it's flamenco it's just you know it's uh, it's aggressive it's metallica head banging it's you know flamenco faena i mean it was beautiful and i got a i got to meet a new band Susie the kid and it was like I can't say that. Sioux huh? so City Kid, there you go. <laughs> and wow, they're from the Bay Area. My hats off to you guys. That was pretty awesome. And you know, I was like, first, like, it was weird at first because I was the only non, not Latino. <laughs> I mean, I was no, I was the only Latino, and the rest were not. <laughs> so I was, they were like, this girl lost. I go, yeah, I am, but let's check it out. <laughs> it was awesome. And then when I started dancing, they're like, oh man, she knows words. Yes, I know old music. I know country and you know all that. <laughs> So you gotta know music. So that was experience. Yeah. And and you know, I think that like artists like I said before, Perils and Forty One Hype, and then we have my favorite other band that gave me the good luck kick here on the Lulu show, Basuda is gonna be playing with you guys. That's gonna be our yeah, the first band that we're we're, we're bringing through. You know, the first one is kind of a, a local show. Um, we're bringing um, um, Body Art Collective, was a, a local arts kind of um, collective. They do art, they do uh, uh, poetry, they do music, they do do, do a lot, um, and that, that's kind of setting the stage for us to, to work with with a group and a band because it's really kind of a um, experiment. We don't really know. We're playing with the format because we we have people that we want to work with and we want to have a, a social justice edge to it and you know a, a community edge to it. So every, everyone is going to be probably a little bit different. So the very first one we wanted to definitely to be local. All local artists, you know. Mm -hmm. um, the following one, we're actually going to be um, uh, getting together with Devoya, um, which does uh, a lot of Devoya uh, does, does a lot of um, events here. Uh, and then the following one, we're doing one uh, with a group called uh, Word to Your Motherland, which is a, um, a group that does um, art and music um, with the kind of intersection between hip hop and India. You know, uh, their wow. their Indian group. So, yeah, you know, and, and that that's the other thing we want to uh, bring kind of the the um, the multicultural side of it you know various cultures combining um and you know and that comes a lot from where we're you know i mean i'm from here i'm originally from you know madera and um and you know we we're all from different yes, parts of Central Valley. <laughs> yeah and then you know we, we we spent times outside of here you know um and you know bay area new york and, and bringing all that stuff back to the valley and and trying to do plant seeds here and make it for everybody and for yeah. everybody to be exposed to different cultures. And that's true. You know, when I started this adventure of the Lulu show, I set out a little survey monkey uh, and, you know, I said, what do you like about Fresno, you know, so I can really focus on that. And it turns out it's exactly the same things that I thought were important. And our multiculturalism here in the Central Valley, especially in Fresno, is so beautiful. I mean, here in Fresno, kid you not, you know, the diet is not working because we got food from Peru. Of course, all of Mexico's represented for sure. We got Ethiopian food. We got, um, of course, Armenian food. Oh, it, Armenia is definitely represented. Mexico and Armenia, they're making their bucks out of here. We have a lot of restaurants here. And, uh, you know, some other cultures bring forth their, their, their cuisine and it's so beautiful. But I, you know, sometimes I think, look at these venues that bring in the food, but they uh, don't, they forget the, the expression part of it, you know, which is the music or, or even the, the art, you mm -hmm. know, they have a lot of artists from their mm -hmm. culture. And I think Pinche is going to be able to facilitate that. Yeah, and I'm, I'm glad you brought that up because that is a, another part that we want to bring in, you know, like, you know, it, it's kind of 
going to be kind of an experience. You know, you got the music, you got people doing live art, uh, you got local artisans, and you got, you know, we're always going to have a food vendor there too. So it's almost like we're doing like a mini festival every every month. Little you know? expo. <laughs> that little expo, you know. But you know, it's all people from from around here and um, pulling as many of the resources we got here. Because you're right, there's a lot of people, a lot of different cultures represented here, and and we need to kind of bring that out and um, and uh, uh, pinche. No. Pinche.com is the website or pincheparty.com. Pincheparty.com. Yeah. Pincheparty.com. Yeah, I'm not gonna spell that. <laughs> <laughs> you can Google that one. Now pincheparty.com will be held when, where, and how do they sign up or go to it? So the first one is um July fifth. Um it's gonna be a Fulton fifty five. And it's a Friday. It's a every fr first Friday of every first month. Friday for sure. Put it down on your little yeah. smartphone, or you know, there's so much things that can help us nowadays. Yeah. So not forget, put it. <laughs> yeah. So if you want to look, know more about it, um, you know, we're um, you can go to pinchaparty.com, and you can um, go to the Facebook link for there. You can go to the Twitter link. So we're gonna. Be, we're of course, they're multimedia, of course. Yeah, we're kind of showing. You know, you can get information and and who's who's coming up next and things like that, and sign up for uh, the Facebook page to get more info. Now. Um, I haven't asked you this. I was going to start with that, but what exactly does pinche mean? Is it a, is it is it the stands for or just because it's a colloquial cultural thing? Yeah, it definitely came. Oh, you from, guys are lazy. Yeah, no, no, no. We did we did a long uh, process of naming. You know, and we it's always you know it's kind of that feeling that you know what. You know, we you're trying to like. I mean, I've done naming projects before because that's my background as a designer. That's where um, I was going, man. And so you know that, but you know, we're trying to like figure out what what has that energy, what has that punch, and all that. And and you know, we were we were developing from from a piñata. You know, like what can we do like a piñata party? And then I don't know. We just started drawing and 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 putting it together. And then and pinche somehow came in there because we were just you know. Having drinks. You know? <laughs> Somebody called you pinche. But we were trying to like, That's it. once That's the pinche the came up, we were trying to pair it from it, but we were just like, you know, pinche has that energy. Pinche has like, you know, whenever you tell somebody and it about feels it, good, pinche. No. it feels good to say it, right? <laughs> but also, it, when, whenever you tell somebody, it kind of feels like they, you're, they're in on a, on a little secret because, you know, it, before they know anything about it, they're like, oh, that's. Pretty cool. What is that? Party. Yeah, and the and you know, as far as you know, like again, with my background in design, like that branding part of it, like it has a lot of legs because pinche party turns into like, yeah, we're gonna have the pinche meeting today. Ah, we're gonna yeah. go to the pinche <laughs> house party. Like everything kind of you know Much better from in there. Spanish, yeah, yeah, and um, but yeah, we had. I mean that we 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 developed you know from there because the energy was there and it was like. Pinche can just kind of roll into any part of your life, as you know, like in a But do in a you know the definition of what pinche is for us? Well, I, I, I do, I do. <laughs> What's the definition of pinche? <laughs> the way I explain it, I don't know. I mean, well, I, I, I kind of look at it as kind of an endearing way of saying, oh, and, and, you know, in and, and our culture, like, you know, you can say it in a derogatory, you know, similar to the to the F word or something like that. W A. Yeah, but, you know, it also can be pinche something in very endearing. <laughs> You know, very endearing kind of thing. You know, like the pinche, whatever. You know, bring me the pinche. But thing, that, but yeah. that's the that's a colloquial. Definition. Yeah, yeah, what's yeah. real pinche? You, you, you know, I I mean now you're uh, putting you the yeah. have to Google it right now. What is real pinche? What does the real pinche mean? Yeah, we were we were totally this? we were totally no, coming. I'm not gonna tell him. Well, we were coming from just the the, the pure like everyday meaning from uh -huh. it because you know well that you know <laughs> yeah it's just a collo colloquial yeah. culture. I mean for us it's kind of an uh, accessible. Word that everybody, you know, and, and it is mainly in Latin culture, but pinche, um, you know, once you know people start talking about it, they and they learn about it, they're like, oh, you know, that's can you say that on the radio? Can you say that? You know, mm -hmm. but it's just kind of something that um, that we, we we were totally coming from a, a yeah. emotional standpoint. Now, who's collaborating with your pinche party? Um, collaborating. Really like pinche party. <laughs> as far as the, the the core group. It's web TV. I can say even the other one, but I don't like to. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about the core group. Yeah, like it's like Tony Carranza and friends. No. Oh no, no. Okay, so the, the other people that are involved is uh, Ome. Um, Ome. Uh, Ome. We have Ome producer. Uh, Lopez. She's. You she's know, Ome DJ. used to be one of our guest DJs at Radio Bilingue. That's she right. Used to the beat That's shop. right. I think it was the beat shop. Yeah. Because she brought forth, you know, music for young adults and also the sex talk, which, mm -hmm. by the way, the Lulu Show will be having a show about sex soon. Coming soon. Stay yeah. tuned. So Ome, who else? So she's a resident DJ. Um, we also have Abby Jensen. 
She's a, a local um, a painter, and she's part of the Body Art Abby. Collective. Abby Jensen, yeah, she lives right around the corner from here. Uh, and also we got um, uh, Johnny Q, Johnny Kiros from from Fulton 55. Oh. And we also um, got Mathar um, De Leon. Uh, so he's part of that the group too. Yeah. He's also part of Fulton 55. And so the first Friday of the month, the Pinchin Party to be held at. Fulton 55 will always be there or? It's always going to be there, yes. Yeah, that's, that's the home. To one of your sponsors there, you could say. Right. Does the Pincha Party need any sponsors? Yeah. Put out the Pause work, young man. Let's make some money. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, right now, we're you know we're doing it very community. Like, we're pulling our resources. Um, but That's artists. Artists, We need you know, artists to become a little bit yeah. more entrepreneur-like. Right, Mr. No, no. No, I feel that. And I and I do that. You know, that, that is my background, too. So, you know, we, we will need that. But I, I think we have enough resources. We don't really Ooh, need to do that. Very you know. fortunate. You know what? I think that the Central Valley not only have such talent culture, but the the same way our grapes grow here, you know, united, our artists grow. Yeah. And that's, I think, it's so beautiful. And, you know, it's not really... Uh, in the Bay Area, it's not really in uh, the metropolitan areas of California or even the world that, that this is nature to them. This is nature to us to collaborate with each other, and it's awesome. Now, you said something about the Pincha Party not only being this outlet of expression, you know, be, be it uh, music, be it art, uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know, but so it is an art curator mm -hmm. or, or, or a guy. What do you call that? Like when there's paintings on the walls and all that. What's that? That's visual art. Come say Visual art, yeah. Okay, visual art. There you go. <laughs> or you know, uh, performing arts. You That's know. That, uh huh. Um, what um, what in particular for yourself? Um, tell me a little bit of Tony Carranza's work. What 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 leads you into art? Because that's not only your career. You you. Right. Yeah. So I might. You have a uh, website. Like what I, do you do? Well, like I said, um, that that's kind of uh, my background is in design and art. Um, we have uh. uh you know, I, I studied you know, in the Bay Latinos area. don't understand what you artists do. So yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> Especially our so, so, um, nada. <laughs> yeah, so we, I work for a design studio called Tumis. Tumis. Tumis, and, and that's, um, you know, part of um, the show that I have with Fabiana Rodriguez. Like, we were all part of Tumis as, oh, a, as really? a design. Um, and, you know, uh, so I'm the art director there. And, you know, we, uh, the thing with Tumis, we, we were mainly kind of a, um, a design studio that focuses on 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 working with organizations and nonprofits and, and grassroots organizations, mm -hmm. uh, but we also, um, you know, we we've, we've been around for for more than ten years, and and um, you know, our our angle has always been a, a social justice angle and working with different yeah. movements and things. You know, well, do me. I'm gonna have to look you up to hook up the Lulu Show so we could collaborate on a do project to brand mm -hmm. the Lulu Show <laughs> with a social message. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's 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 you know part of what I do. Um, so, you know, coming, in, and I also work at Arte America as, as a curator, so it's all within the art and the design, and then now with Pinche, um, it, it's kind of an outlet to, to do B something Pinche local. Tony is a guy that you want to, if you're a musician, you want to look for that scout, Pinche Tony is like <laughs> that guy. And you get a lot of requests, like, can you check my art, please? That yeah. Me. How does yeah, that work? Yeah. What does it mean? And how should we go about that? You know, culturism that, so that we do it yeah. the right way, we don't look like a dork. Yeah. No, you know, the best way is, you know, like, as you know, like, Hitting, hit, hitting me up on, on Facebook or something like that, or coming to Arte America if you're an artist, um, you know, going to Pinche Party if you're if you're a musician, if you're a, a, a you know somebody who wants to do visual like a um, you know a photographer or something like that too. Mm -hmm. So you know uh, um, you know you're right. There's a lot of people, a lot of talent here, and coming from um, other places, you know, Bay Area, New York, to, to, to back home, you know, I, I, it really opens my eyes as to how much talent we have here, and, mm -hmm. and that's exciting to me because I want to showcase that, and I do want to. I want to, um, you know, I, I get that where people are like, you know, I don't want to be part of, you know, what's in Fresno? Why, why, you, why did you go back to Fresno and all that? Right. And, and my mission being here with everything that I'm doing is, is to try to, um, to try to expose all the folks that are here that are doing great work, you know, mm -hmm. uh, organizations, you know, and that's why we created Pinche to try to, try to do that. Um, and, and by the way, before I forget, mm -hmm. um, uh, Pinche is um, kind of the brainchild of the people that I talked to um, about before the group, um, which, you know, Half of us is, are, are are called Dulce Up Front, and we Dulce Up Front, du, Dulce Up Front is kind of the um, the organization that, that's going to be bringing Pinche. Uh, we wanted to create that because uh, 
it, it's going to give us more more legs to do other things in the community. And Dulce, uh, where is it? Dulce where? Dulce up front. Dulce up front. And does it have a website? How do we get a hold of that? You know, it, do we we're, we're, we're doing that. You, you can uh, look for us on, on Facebook. Um, so yeah. Facebook, give us your Facebook address or IP address or where do, where do we get the Pinche Party other than Pinche Party. Well, the, the best way to get to the Pinche is, is through um, the Pinche Party dot com. And That'll you're also on Facebook on the Pinche. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and you, you'll get the so events Facebook.com forward slash. Um, yeah, well, the, no, we didn't. We haven't gotten that one yet. You have a it, page. Though. We 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 got a page, you know, and yeah, it's so. a little a little long, so it's better to just go to the pinche so party. So if uh, if you do run into it, it's the pinche dot uh, party dot com That's website, right. uh -huh. or so you know, there of course they link the little Twitter. You have the That's Twitter, right. All and the Twitter, and the Facebook, the, uh -huh. the social media. So yeah. yes, they're there. <laughs> um, so hook them up, you know, look them up and participate. You know, there's nothing worse than letting. Uh, food go to waste. Well, there's there is something worse than letting food go to waste. <laughs> letting artists and art not yeah. be expressed, and, yeah. and you know it's a beautiful outlet to grow with and to uh, share. But if you could get any of your children as young as being in the womb to three years old to 15 to 20 to 25, even 65 and older, if you get them hooked up to art, it will be a life experience that they'll never forget. And, and it's one that really endures, you know, in our lives and gives us better memories. So Tony Carranza, Art Director Arte Americas and also co-creator of BeingChairParty.com. What is your message to our community here on the Lulu Show? Um, you know, I just want to let people know that, you know, it's really important for everybody to kind of like um, to to hear each other's ideas and all that and, and try to collaborate and do things, you know, because we, you know, I. I you know, if you don't want to, if you want to create something in your community, you got to like, you got to use your community resources, you know, everybody who was in town and, and try to, a lot, I think a lot of people, you know, get it twisted where they just only want to like be the rock star and, and do everything themselves. But there's okay. so many people doing great stuff and there's, you know, you can never create something like that on your own. You always need a group of people that are down to do, you know, do, to do the, to have the same vision as you. Right. And uh, I was lucky enough to have that with them. Um, the people that I'm working with now, and and you're right. You were talking about vision earlier. Like vision, if you don't have a vision that people can connect with, um, you're not your organization, your your band, your your art collect, yourself. whatever you're doing yourself. You know, you're not gonna you're not gonna get very far. So you know, um, having having and that'll uh, be a pinch experience. <laughs> yeah, get your pinch vision down. Well, we are definitely so happy that you joined us here on the Lulu Show. Finally, nah. <laughs> we're trying to get you in. You know, please uh, use this as an expression venue for your pinchaparty.com, you know, and let us know how we could be of service here at the Lulu Show. Uh, so now we're still going, so I uh, would love to offer that opportunity for you guys to keep us updated. So remember, July 5th will be the uh, Pincher Party at Fulton 55, and also you can visit their website, uh, pincherparty.com, so you can get more details. And every first Friday of the month, you know, you have an outlet to express your or to receive the expression being said in our community. Tony, muchas gracias. gracias. Awesome. Well, this is the Lulu Show. Well, this is the Lulu Show. We're so happy it's uh, another Saturday gone by. I hope it's useful to you. I'm going to leave you with a little clip of what I did this week to celebrate my birthday. And thank you all who made my birthday even more special by giving me the love that I really did not believe that it was out there so much. I do believe you love me back, but wow, it's just beautiful. <laughs> Thank you so much, the Lulu Show. Remember, look us up also online, and you can also check here on centralvalleytalk.com. We're also being re-aired on the weekday, so find it and like us. Thank you so much. Stay tuned. This is centralvalleytalk.com. <laughs>
Uh, Why is that blurry? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Good job. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's not Surprise! Central Valley Talk. 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 Talk